Hey guys, good morning. Heading to a USPSA match. And a lot of times before Saturday match, I'll go to the farm on Friday, do a little practice and stay the night, get in my car early, head to the match. Which is what I did this morning. Well, rarely, rarely do I go into a Starbucks. I mean, I can count on both hands the amount of times I've been to a Starbucks in my life. Well, there just happens to be one on the way in Sumter, South Carolina. And sometimes if I'm, I don't have time in the morning, I'll stop by there. Not every time. This is my third time in probably six months stopping by there. But they suck ass. And I'm going to tell you why. Starbucks and employees of Starbucks have basically one mission, and that is to get you a fucking cup of coffee within a reasonable amount of time that doesn't suck. Now, you may ask yourself, well, why don't you just stop it like a gas station? Well, to all you gas station coffee gurus out there, your shit sucks. It's like warmed up friggin' tea. It's, you can see through it. If you put it in a clear glass, you can read, read fine print through that crap. So if your coffee didn't suck, I'd probably stop there because you walk in, you pour your shit, and you get the hell out. So anyway, the very first time I stopped at the Starbucks, I walked in. Nobody in there. Just one gal. I ordered my coffee got my coffee. I was like, man, this is going smooth. So I walk over to where all the sugar and crap is, and I'm like, uh, where's the creamer? And by that time, her ass was stuck in the drive-thru helping somebody. I'm sitting there, and I'm in a hurry, right? Like, I gotta get my coffee and get the hell down the road. So she gets done helping the people in the drive-thru. And then, of course, she turns to the dude that's now standing at the counter. And I'm still, I'm standing at the end of the counter. Now she has to be wondering, I gave this guy his coffee. Why the hell is he still in the store? So finally, he puts his order in for some fancy ass shit that costs probably eight bucks. And that's the other thing. A regular cup of coffee is three damn dollars. So I finally asked the girl, I'm like, where the hell is your half and half? Cream, whatever. Oh, I'll get it. I'll go get it. Oh, God, it's not out. I'll get it. So she comes out with the cream. I make my crap and I'm out of there. A couple months go by. Find myself in the same Starbucks. Walk in. Go up to the counter. I just want coffee. I just want a medium dark coffee. Your coffee shop, I just want some coffee. So I order my coffee. I'll take a medium dark coffee. She's like, well, our grinder that we use to grind the coffee beans is broken. And I'm like, okay. But secretly, deep inside, I'm going, you have one grinder to make freaking beans, not beans anymore, and you have just one in this whole store? So she says, I can make you an Americano. I'm like, what the fuck is Americano? <laughs> Apparently it's a couple of espresso that's watered down with hot water. So I'm like, well, how are you gonna make that? Well, we're using our bagged stuff that we sell and I'll blow it and I said, okay, fine. So she makes the espresso, she waters it down. I go to get my, my shit, same damn thing. No creamer on the freaking bar. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So this time, I'm pissed from last time. I'm like, I just yell it across the store. Hey, where's the creamer? Oh, and she's like, hey, I'll go get it, blah, 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 blah. At least that time she reached on the counter. So I got the hell out of there. Well, I just went in that damn store again. Walk up to the counter. There's like three people at the counter. I'm standing in line, patient, pissed already. Standing in the counter. Dude's getting his crap and all his stupid ass little freaking baguettes or whatever the hell they sell and all that shit. It's like $20 for his morning ritual, I guess. 
And uh, the next dude comes up getting a refill. Well, apparently they're buddies. And he starts to go on about how he's taking his daughter to soccer, which is absolutely fucking precious. But I wanted to shove that son of a bitch out of the way and tell him to go to his fucking game. By the time he got out of the way, I saw the lady pull the coffee urn out from the dark roast thing. And then she's telling the other girl, we're out of this dark roast, we gotta make some more. Like It's like, oh God, that's a chore. And I step up to the thing and I like, I want a medium dark coffee. That's what I want. I'm at a coffee shop. You guys offer it, it's on the menu and I have money. I want my damn coffee. She's like, oh, we just ran out of that. And I'm like, do you have any fucking coffee that you could possibly pour in a cup? And I get the hell out of here. I get my cup of coffee. About that time, I hear dude over at the creamer station go, where's the creamer? Where's the creamer? And I'm thinking to myself, there's no way there's not creamer on that fucking bar. But yes, there was no creamer on that bar. So they go to proceed to helping a bunch of other people. I'm standing there and I'm just, just I'm just about to freaking lose it. And he's standing there a little closer to where they're going to give it to him. She comes coming out of the back, gives him the creamer. He can tell I'm pissed. Like, I'm like, give me the fucking creamer now. He's like, oh, you need this? Before he even put it in his coffee, I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it right now. So I took it from him. I poured the creamer in the cup, and I kicked the fucking front door of the place open and almost smashed some dude. I didn't mean to do that, really, but I, my hands were full. I had to get the hell out of there as fast as possible, knowing in my mind I will never darken the doorstep of another Starbucks as long as I live. And that, my friends, is the happy ending to this story. <laughs>